finally made it to Arizona. Uh, 24 hour drive and I don't know, two or three hours in this mean machine here. So we're gonna get camp set, get some water, and get prepared to start scouting. So it is uh, November 22nd, and it's uh, four or five days before we get to actually hunt. But my buddy Steve drew an amazing elk tag in here, and so I haven't got to see him for a few years, so it's good to catch up. Um, so we met in Salt Lake, now we're down here in Arizona. It was a drought the first year I came in, and water was really hard to find. It was dusty, it was hot. Then it got super cold, down to zero. And then last year when I was in here with my buddy Jay, uh, we had the challenges of uh, flash floods. So extreme water, way too much, and then uh, two feet of snow on top of that. So super challenging weather. Um, and then this, this year it's back to the drought again. But uh, tomorrow morning we're heading in three days, start scouting, um, come back out and we'll refresh for the actual hunt. And uh, hopefully we can get her done and get down here in Arizona. Time to go look for some bowls. After we finish cup coffee. Oh yeah, after I finish this Nestle's cafe. Yumminess. Just finishing up my coffee oatmeal. Get the packs finished up and hit the trail. Time to find a bowl. I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling tired already and we're only on day three. It's Wednesday. Uh, we spent the last few days glassing up different points in the, in the area. Um, spotted spotted a few bulls, one in particular that we think is a good mature bull. Uh, it's Wednesday though and the season doesn't open until Friday so we're blazing back out to base camp get more food, uh, rest up. Uh, my friend Shane is joining us, hopefully help pack out. And then uh, we'll get back out to our spike camp um, tomorrow and hopefully get some eyes on a bull, hopefully that bull uh, the night before opener and then be ready opening morning on Friday. So just ending this day, go back to 
base camp and relax. Well, here I am on another one of my crazy hunting adventures. Uh, last year I was down here with a good friend, friend uh, named Jay and he had drew, drew this tag and it was just crazy weather, super crazy weather. Uh, anywhere from, you know, deep snow to pouring rain, flash floods, uh, you name it, we had it all. And that's just another one of those uh, buddies that I connected with through the hunting community. You know, years ago, he called me up and wanted to go on a spring bear hunt, and that's kind of how it all began. And then last year, we're in here together um, doing the exact same thing. But uh, sorry, I'll probably get choked up a little bit. <laughs> so what I'm uh, trying to get to is, so last year I was here with my good friend Jay, and we hunted a lot of years together, and we would have hunted forever together. Um, but after his hunt in here, uh, six months later, I get a call from his wife that he had passed away in an ATV accident. So this trip here is super special. It's uh, one of those we came down to go you know, hunt but also to celebrate uh, a good friend, a good hunting partner, a good father, a good husband. Uh, just one of those times you, you just never know. You know, uh, Jay was 39 years old, so all these uh, hunting adventures and stuff that we go on, you gotta take them like it's your last moment. You never know. And so this trip here is you know, Steve's gonna have hopefully a great opportunity to shoot a beautiful bull. And then after that, you know, we'll uh, celebrate Jay's life in the, you know, area that he would have loved to be, you know, in the mountains right here with me. I know he's right here with us now. So we'll spend uh, some time celebrating Jay's life when we're here and uh, hopefully be able to just capture all the moments and, uh, you know, I know Jay's up there right now and he's going to help us on the hunt. He's going to help us keep us safe. He's going to bring us some, uh, some good luck. Um, I know he's right here with us, so just very special hunt. One more night of glassing and scouting. Season opens tomorrow. Uh, my friend Shane drove in a long ways and then got on his four-wheeler, came on the super bumpy trail, and uh, he's joined us, hopefully help out uh, packing out uh, this week. But uh, we're glassing at one of the points, but Luke hiked on uh, to the point where we saw that mature bull and uh, he was able to locate it again so tonight we'll just meet back at the tents down in the valley get a game plan and then hopefully first thing in the morning at daybreak we'll be up in a spot where we can uh, locate that bull again Kill a big bull tomorrow, or what? Do you insist? <laughs> he didn't move. 
I got up there at 10, spotted the five point where he was normally. And then I kept glassing where the big guy was. And he wasn't there, wasn't there. So I started panning out a little bigger. And he was just from that, that dark face. He was over the lip and right there. I mean, no more than 100, 150 yards from where we left him. So I spot him like at, I don't know, 11, something like that. Bedded. I could just see the tips of the antlers in the sun. And he got up at 2.30, fed for about 30 minutes, laid right back down the same spot. And then he got up at 4 for about 2 minutes, rotated and right back down. I left him at 5.10, still laying down. Nice. So... What's the plan for tomorrow? Um, get up, have some coffee, and probably head out here about six with the headlamps. Took me like 35 minutes to get down, so 45 up. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. It's good. Warm, dry clothes. That's a chow. Yep, chocolate zucchini bread, look at that. Thick as mud pie. Happy Thanksgiving. Yep, happy turkey day, Mom. finally here it's a uh, first day of actual hunting season open today just eat some coffee oatmeal and then we have about a I'd say an hour hike up the mountain um, cold and windy today but we'll uh, hopefully get there well after daybreak and spot a bull go from there here we go Another round, it was high. <coughs> dial down, dial down. Where'd he go? He's right in the bush, right below. Dead. Ah, yeah. uh, whoa. <laughs> you got money? You did it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now that feels, that feels a lot better, yeah, going in there, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm shaking for you. 
I didn't, I didn't rush it, but I was like, I need to make a quicker shot because that was a small hole. Yeah. I mean, in the bush. Oh, look at, look at him laying. Thanks, Shane. Down, <laughs> down. My lucky, uh, lucky shed. Lucky shed. Bull down. Eight o'clock. He showed up closer than we uh, saw him yesterday, so that was nice. Wait until it got calm. We got to go down, get him cut up, and then back up, but. Opening day, 8 o'clock, beautiful view, sun, feels pretty good. Very thankful. That's my kind of Black Friday special. Free meat. Not really free if you ask my wife. <laughs> you want me to go down? Look, where do you want me to go? Up here with me. Wait, wait, do I go the high route up here? Yeah, you gotta go above it. Right. There should be. Wow. Just wanted to get up in those bushes. Dang. Look at that mass, dude. Oh. Look at that body. We did it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. See ya, buddy. Can't believe it. We got second shot. Dropped all the way. <laughs> it's insane how steep that is. 30 degrees. Beautiful bull, man. First bull. First bull. Arizona, I think I set the bar baby. a little high, but we did it. Now what? Just kidding. I know what. <laughs> what a morning. Opening morning worked out better than we could have planned. It was closer than we thought it would be, and got it down. Got here. It's in the shade. It's not heating up. Got some work to do, but feeling very, very thankful. A lot goes into this from, you know, Luke and Shane driving 2,000 miles a piece uh, separately. You know, a lot of sacrifice for my wife, Cassie, letting me be gone for two weeks. Uh, just friends borrowing gear. Uh, Luke's friend borrowing the Can-Am. Just very, very, very thankful. In a time when people, it's hard to be thankful. It's it's a great moment. So thankful for Jay for watching over us, giving us a great hunt, keeping us safe. But what a great day. to you know hunt big bulls with my buddy Steve but we're also here to celebrate my one of my best buds uh, best hunting partners um, Jay so I'm taking the honor uh, you know it's a big honor to uh, do this oh. so this is what I'm gonna do for his family and me kind of celebrate everything. Brought down this special little urn. And we're gonna spread these ashes of Jay's and leave them here in the back country. It's exactly what you'd want.
Yeah. Tickled paint, man. He's super awesome bull. Me and Jay have been hunting together for quite a few years, and it's our first harvest together. We always push hard, and we always wait for the big stuff. And so sometimes we go home empty-handed, but we found a big one this time. So it's our first harvest together. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, appreciate it, Luke. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Congrats. Look forward to more hunts. <laughs>